We are now sponsored by NBA2KLabs.com. Check out their site for loads of free 2K content. Also, check out their premium side for the best tested jump shots. Use code JR at checkout for 20% off. In today's video, I'll be showing y'all boys two different working NBA 2K24 VC glitch methods that you can use to run up your VC pretty fast. So let's get right into it. This first method is going to involve the rec center. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and load up any player that you have into the city. And then you want to go ahead and load into the rec center. Now once you guys load into the rec center, you guys can do this with the squad or if you're doing it solo, you can also do it by yourself. So go ahead and choose any door. This may work faster if you do it with a group of, of people because usually the games will load up faster. Also, if you're doing this on your main, main player, this does affect your record. So if, you're if you don't want to take a lot of L's, then you may not want to do this. It also affects your overall too. So if you have like purple and you do this, you will lose your purple. So you could probably do this on like a 60 overall player. But all you guys simply want to do is go ahead and load into the rec center. And then you want to go ahead and let any game start up. Sometimes it takes a bit for a game to load depending on the time of day, especially if you do it on solos. But like I said, all you simply want to do is go ahead and let a game load up. Also, you do want to make sure that you do have somebody in the city or so that you can join. So you want to make sure that you have a friend that you can join that's playing NBA 2K24. Or like me, I'm going to go ahead and use the community tab. If you go to the looking for a group, you can usually find a person that way. But yeah, man, once you guys have loaded into the rec center, you want to go ahead and wait for the game to actually start up. If you're in a dead lobby like this right here and it doesn't start up right away, then you can back out and restart. But generally, if you wait, it does start up eventually. No. Alright, so look man, once the game finally loads up, all you simply want to do is wait for one of the teams to get the tip off. So you want to make sure that you wait for somebody to get the tip off. And as soon as somebody gets a, gets a tip off, all you simply want to do is join somebody that is currently playing NBA 2K24. So like I said, you can join a friend or in my case, I'm going to wait for somebody in the community post. So as soon as somebody gets a tip off, you want to go ahead and join somebody that is in the city. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the community post. And then I'm just going to scroll down and find somebody that I can join. A lot of these people are sometimes offline, but I should be able to join this dude right here who's in a rec lobby. So you want to go ahead and hit join game. And you guys should notice that if you got the timing down right and all that, which like I said, all you simply got to do is wait for the somebody to get the tip off. You'll get this right here where it's contacting to the 2K Sports server. And then you'll go ahead and be loaded into that person's rec center or park, depending on where they're at in. Once you guys load in, it will give you the VC for that rec center game, even though you didn't play. Sometimes it's a little inconsistent. Sometimes it doesn't give you the VC right away. And sometimes you have to wait for the game to actually run out. And you guys will notice that once you guys do this, you will not be banned either. So you can spam this as many times as you would like. All right, so look, man, the second way that you guys can do this is through the starting five location. If you guys go to this area right here on 
your mini map this is gonna be the starting fob and it basically works the same way but i have noticed it is a little bit more inconsistent whenever you do it through starting fob sometimes it gives you vc sometimes it doesn't it usually gives you around 500 each time that you do this though so yeah man all you simply want to do is go ahead and walk over to the starting fob building which is located on your mini map that i showed you All right, so hello, man. Once you guys load into the starting five building, you just want to go ahead and start a game up. And this is basically going to work the same way. You do want to make sure that you have somebody that you can join. So you can either join a friend, like I said, or you can join somebody from a community post. It's going to go ahead and have you pick a team. You can pick any team. It doesn't really matter. And the good thing about this is it doesn't affect your record. And also, it, it shouldn't affect your overall as well. So if you're purple, it shouldn't matter. If you do it the wrecks in a way, you will, you will take an L on your record. Plus, it affects your overall. But like I said, this way is a little bit more inconsistent. And sometimes it doesn't give you the VC until the actual game ends. So it really depends. And that's both with the rec center way and this way as well. But all you simply want to do is wait for this game to go ahead and start up. Both the members have to ready up or the timer has to go away. And then once the tip off happens, you want to go ahead and join some money that you have in the city. All right, so look, man, if your opponent quits before you're able to get the tip off, you will get VC. So that's a good thing as well. But same thing here. As soon as somebody gets the tip off, all you simply want to do is go ahead and join somebody that you have online. So I'm going to go into the looking for a group tab, and then I'm just going to scroll down and find somebody that is actually online in the city. So I'm going to go ahead and join this dude right here. And then you can hit join game and you guys will see that it'll say connecting to the 2k sports server and then it will load you into that person's city but like i said this way is a little bit more inconsistent because sometimes it doesn't give you the vc or it doesn't give you the vc until the game ends however if your opponent quits out before the tip off it will give you the vc right away so that is a good thing about this you guys will know this is working if you get this frozen screen right here and then it will load you into the city and this is going to work the same way for both the rec center and the starting five and you guys know it works correctly and you're doing it right whenever it does not give you a ban penalty because you know normally if you quit out of a game it gives you that ban penalty but when you do this it'll give you the vc usually right away or after the game is over with and then you can farm this and do it as many times as you would like but like i said if you are worried about taking l's on your rec center record then you might not want to do this or losing your overall you could do this on a 60 overall it just really depends but yeah man that's two different working nba 2k24 vc method farms that you can use to get your vc up drop a light man drop a sub turn on positive notifications we out peace